President Jacob Zuma has refused to give reasons for his cabinet reshuffle yesterday. He said it's his prerogative, he can do, he can chop and change as he pleases. But we saw three ministers axed yesterday. Housing Minister Turkey Sehwale, uh, the Co Cooperative Governance Minister Richard Baloy, and Communications Minister Dina Pule. Sehwale and Pule didn't really come as a surprise. Um, Sehwale as we all know, opposed Zuma's bid to become president of the ANC again last year in Mongolia. <coughs> Dina Pule has had a woe of a string of woes behind her, where she involved a boyfriend into the running of her department, and um, or alleged boyfriend in the running of her department, and she also channeled money to him apparently uh, through events, uh, and that's currently being investigated by the public protector. So everybody's pleased about that. People are asking though why ministers like Angie Macheja survived after the textbook scandal in Limpopo. Uh, she was the one responsible, or she's the one who was ultimately responsible for the textbooks not being delivered. And why um, a minister like Tina Juma Peterson, she's also been beset by scandals and by uh, sort of misspending of public money. Um, what this all means for the departments, this is a year before the elections. Um, I heard somebody say yesterday this was a, this is an elections year reshuffle, meaning that it makes Zuma look strong. He appointed strong people in the new positions. As housing ministry appointed Connie September, she's a veteran from the Western Cape and ANC uh, member of parliament. And she seems to have a very solid record. Yunus Karim, um, he also seems like a solid solid intellectual appointment to communications um, and hopefully he will fix all the problems in that department. And the third appointment, uh, Lichesa Tsenoli as Cooperative Governance Minister in Baloy's place. He's in Parliament, he's an MP, he's got a good record there, he's clean. Um, so we'll have to see if he can sort out municipalities. Uh, there's been a lot of problems around municipalities. Baloy has been very non-active, so maybe Tsenoli will be a little bit more of an activist minister.